Okay, what I'm going to do today is clean this 1976 Bertan frame set. Very dirty. Uh, I think it's probably about 20 years since it's had a wash. And the bike isn't, the frame set isn't in bad condition to be honest. It's just no one's bothered to clean it for years. As you can see from the close up, it's like, it's just dust really. Uh, and grime and dirt that's the problem I don't think it's got any major scratches uh, no rust I don't believe there's any problem structurally it just hasn't been cleaned for I, I would say maybe the 1990s or something like that because the owner told me it's been sitting in his garage for decades and I just wonder what colour it's going to be, really, because uh, I think it's a nice sort of copper type of tone. And I just wonder how good it will look with some uh, good cleaning. Um, it's got nice lugs on it, like long pointed ones. It's got a Durafort tubing and the tubes uh, and the fork as well here. Um, half chrome forks. There's no chrome on the stays. Uh, you can see how how crazy this dirt is. Uh, I'll be very interested to see what it's like. And the Bertan decals are in pretty good shape as well. So yeah, I'll start washing it and uh, let's see how it turns out. It's got a nice sticker here, actually, uh, the original Bertan sticker. Not a great fan of the Bertan head badge there, just like a sticker. I thought, you know, for a nice frame like this, I would prefer to see something, you know, screwed on like a metal plate, but you know. And it's got a strong light headset, it had a TA bottom bracket which I've taken out there's some um, markings there and on the back on the dropout there's a 52 probably it's size because it looks like a 52 so we'll see how it goes with the cleaning just soap and water and a sponge to get it going I think just a small area at a time. And nothing rocket science about this. But uh, you can see already, look at the difference in that colour. Pretty amazing. Even though it's a miserable day, which has been like this for the whole month, uh, it's still got a good uh, shine on that um, in this grey light. Cool, actually. It reminds me of that a bit of the Rally International colour, uh, that famous American rally version um, road bike of the 1970s, the copper coloured one. Looking really nice already, to be honest. So I'm just going to keep going and do the same all over the I bought this bike for 80 euro and I've taken it apart. Um, it had a mixture of French parts with some other stuff put on later and the original own owner told me it hadn't been ridden for God knows how many years. Um, but in this day, it was a pretty good bike. So it's good to see it coming back to life already.
the drive side, this side of the bike has a few more scratches, but it's not still not too bad. Uh, for its age, I'd say it's in very good condition. As you can see, it's really cleaned up really well. Uh, it's a really nice colour. Hidden underneath all that dust. So with just with the soap and water, uh, it's made a big, huge difference. It always helps if you've got a 19th century trough to rinse your bike in. I suggest buying one of these ancient trucks for cleaning your bike. After a good polish, uh, I use car polish on this um, bike frame. It's come out really well. It's a really nice colour. Uh, there aren't many scratches on it really of note. Uh, it just looks like a different frame from the one it was. We even find that the stickers are in pretty good condition, this one, the Bertram one. And the tubing is uh, only got some scratches on it, but generally really nice. Chrome forks, they have some some marks on the plating, but actually they're okay. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. It's a really nice frame set. So the difference a good wash can make to a dis discarded uh, bike frame is pretty amazing.